So, we're going to do another mod to Jeff's cooler. I'm Jeff. And I'm Jack. And we're two old farts in the woods. So, my trusty old Coleman cooler here, um, we modified it before. We put some latches on it and uh, modified it to make it a Yeti with that sticker right there. No, uh, you can check that out on our TikTok page. But this is just a regular Coleman cooler. What we're going to do today is we're going to try to make it colder longer. Um, I got these uh, this foil bag and this foil wrapped cardboard from a home food delivery service that we use. And I thought, well, if they can keep food cold in it as they ship it around the country, maybe it'll work for my cooler. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this bag and we're gonna put it down inside the cooler like this and spread it out to where it goes like that. And that's where the ice and the food will go. Okay. And then we've, uh, we've pre-measured this cardboard, 10 covered cardboard, it's uh, 11 inches long by six and a half, or six and a quarter inches high. And that's gonna go right here on the inside lid of the cooler. So we're okay. gonna do that. Um, all right, so I just need to get a straight razor here. And get it going. Don't forget to cut out a notch for the little uh, oh, drain for, thing yeah, at the top. Yeah. yeah, good point, for the port, the, the drain port at the top. Right. Okay. Now, this is a very important step too. Let me get my ruler to make sure which one is the six, six and a quarter <laughs> side. Because this piece is very close. <clears throat> very, very close. So this is the six and a quarter side. Hey, you got the right side. Okay. Yes, I did. Awesome. I, yeah, I'd be having fits later if I was trying to put the, the larger side on. Okay. So now we're just going to cut a notch in the back to go around the... A little drain hole here, so let's see. I'm gonna measure that, guys. I'm I'm really just eyeballing this. That's the way I work. Um, you you are gonna want to measure it and make some marks at home. So I'm thinking like this right here. If I remove, you know what? I'm gonna measure it because <laughs> I lost it. See how quickly that happens? So I'm gonna just take this pen right here. Do a real quick measurement. Well, just mark it, yeah. Yeah, just marking it. No measurement, just marking it. So here and here. All right. So right here, here, and we're gonna go down about that far. We cut a we cut a little mark like that. One thing about this material is, is it's super easy to modify, and we like super easy. We are fans of the easy. That's right. That's right. So I just removed the back, but I left the foil, and there we have it. All right. So now we're just going to fix this maybe with some duct tape or something. Duct tape works. Yeah, and uh, we'll put this on the back and stick it on there. So, uh, we're not going to subject you to watching us pull out duct tape. We'll be right back. Yep. So we got our duct tape on there, and we just folded it over double like that. And we're going to stick that to the top. All right, so now we've got this line. We've got this pretty much lined. Yeah, so now we're just going to put some ice in there, and we'll do uh, the see what it looks like in three or four days. All right. So let me go get the ice. We'll be right back. All right, he's got the ice. Now we're not filling it up completely, but putting a decent little bowl of ice in there. Yeah, so we'll throw that out. And now we'll just kind of do it like a uh, sack lunch where we'll fold it in right here at the sides and just kind of fold it over. We'll see how long it lasts. Yeah, and uh, maybe we'll do one check. You know, we said three or four days. Maybe we'll come back and see what that looks like tomorrow. And then we'll wait. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But either way, if it lasts three or four days, it's made it last longer than it's ever lasted. So. Okay, it's day one. We're gonna do a. We're gonna do a. Just a quick check. Yeah, let me get in there and see what it looks like. Before the, just to see how it's doing after a day. Ah, a little bit melty. Got yeah. some water in there, but 
Still yeah. holding up. Yeah, and it hasn't been that hot in my garage, so... Hopefully right. it won't be a hot day tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I got an idea. Let's just let it go. Let's just let it go the full... Let's just come back in like three days, like two more days from now. Like, like we said. Okay. Like we said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, it's time to open her up. Yeah, yeah. We put the uh, bag and the ice in there, and it's been about, what, three days? Uh... Four? Four days. We were going to check it at three, but... Yeah. Now, we didn't put it... Now, usually when they do these tests, they fill it up full with ice. We just put a big scoop in, so... Yeah. If but, it has anything, it'll be a surprise, but it'll be amazing. Yeah, if there's any ice in here at all, it'll be amazing. Okay. No, nope. there, there is no ice. Is the water cold? Yes. The, the water is... is um, I would say, oh, probably, yeah. I'd say probably too cold to swim in. If I would, yeah, so... Okay, so the water's still cold with just a big scoop of ice. Um, normally, it would be warm by now, so... I really think that this is an improvement. I mean, I don't know about you. We've had conversations about this cooler saying it's really not a three-day when it's hot. Right, it's yeah. not. But, yeah. hey, uh, well, you know, adding extra insulation, no matter what kind, helps out. <laughs> yeah, so... Easy. Two wolf hearts in the woods. <laughs>